This tutorial will show you how to do a clean install on OS X Mavericks. To make sure that you can upgrade, here are the general requirements you want to make sure that your system meets. First, what we're going to need to do is open up the App Store. In the search box, go ahead and type in Mavericks. Click on Mavericks, and when it opens, go ahead and click on the Download button. Depending on your connection speed, this could take a while, so what we're going to do now is get the USB drive ready. For the clean install, you're going to need a thumb drive that's at least 8 gigs. To confirm the size, plug it in and right click and choose Get Info, or you can just hit Apple I on the keyboard. Once you've confirmed that it's at least 8 gigs, we're ready to move on to the next step. But before we do, let's go ahead and make sure that Mavericks downloaded completely. Click on the Applications folder and scroll down to see that in the Install, Mavericks is there. Next, you're going to need to open up your favorite web browser and we're going to browse to the website liondiscmaker.com. When their web page loads up, go ahead and scroll down and you're going to click right where it says click here to download Discmaker X 3.0.4. Go ahead and click save when the download dialog pops up and when it completes, double click it to open it. Once it opens up, you're going to want to drag the Discmaker X application into the Applications folder. Once you have done this, open up the Applications folder, locate Discmaker X, and click on it to open it. The application is going to ask you a series of questions, but you're going to want to just choose Mavericks 10.9 at the first one, use this copy at the second window, and at the third window, you're going to want to choose an 8 gig. USB thumb drive. Next, you're going to want to choose the name of the USB thumb drive that you have plugged into your computer. I named mine Mavericks. Highlight it and then choose Choose This Disk. It's next going to let you know that it's going to erase the entire disk. Go ahead and click Erase, then Create Disk, and then click Continue at the last window. This next process will take a few minutes, so it's a perfect time to get up and grab a cup of coffee. When it completes, this window will pop up allowing you to make a donation or to quit. At this point, your bootable thumb drive has been made, so what we're going to do now is restart and boot to the thumb drive. Another way you can do this is click on the Apple and then System Preferences. And then in the bottom right hand corner, you're going to want to click Startup Disk. If you're able to choose which disk you'd like to start to, you can select your thumb drive and choose Restart. If you chose to restart and hold option while it was booting, when it gets to that stage, go ahead and select the USB thumb drive that we just created. Next, we're going to open up Disk Utility and we're going to format your main hard drive. Go ahead and click Continue. And once Disk Utility starts up, we're going to want to select our main hard drive and then going to go over to the Erase tab name our hard drive and choose erase. When this process completes, we're going to want to close out a disk utility and then we're going to want to choose install OS X and then hit continue. The rest of the steps are going to be rather straightforward, so hit continue at this screen. Make sure you read all the fine print and then agree. Select your hard drive and choose install. Be patient here, this can take a few minutes, so go get another cup of coffee. I wanted to mention this, that when it got to the point where it said about a minute remaining, well, it stayed here for about 20 minutes or so. So be patient and grab another cup of coffee. Here it will restart and go into the installation process. Again, this one will take a few minutes, so probably now is a good time to go pee from all that coffee you've been drinking. Once it finishes installing, go ahead and restart. And once it does, go through and fill out all the information to set up your Mac. Once you complete those steps, it should log you into your new account, and this will complete the OS X Mavericks clean install. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If you have any comments or have any other suggestions for tutorial videos, let me know in the comment section.